Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today is the winter solstice, but you'll probably be seeing this the day after Christmas. But regardless, today I'm going to put up some drywall. There's not much left to do, there's just four pieces. But I have a meeting at 3, so I'm really not sure how much I'm going to be able to get done. I was just going to move this and then get this last piece up. But it's already clear over here, so I'll get one piece up there. And then everything from there on in requires me to move something, so can't avoid it then. I went to town early this morning, just the little town across the river, and picked me up a calendar. It's really bizarre. It is the Amazing Planet Mojo. That's pretty cool. I'm surprised I found that. But I'm going to be using this. This is a real nice heavy calendar and it was just a couple bucks. I'm going to be using this to show how the giveaway works. I'm having an oscillating tool giveaway in January and I believe February, I'm going to give away a cordless chainsaw like that, this exact same one. So in January, I'll do the review for this. I was going to do the review for this yesterday because it was a fairly nice day, but there's really not that many people watching YouTube right now because it's the holidays, so I think we'll save this for January. So sometime, like right in here, I'll be doing the review of this, and I'll be doing it right back here. There's just a massive tangle of stuff back here that needs to be cleared out, and I'll go and try this out back there. All right, with all that said, let's get on to the drywall. Thank you. 
Okay, I got one up. Man, is it hard to get these up with this bulging insulation. But it is going up. And after I put the screws in, as I get more and more screws in, it slowly lifts up and I have to tighten up the screws that I already put in. And I'm seeing that on some of this stuff as well. So I'm going to have to go around with like a hand driver. If you use a power driver, it can over tighten these. I'll have to go around with a hand driver and just give them a little bit of a crank where it needs it and get it sucked up to the, to the rafters there. But all in all, it's looking really good. Now I have two mess ups. That one will end up being, it gets a full half a sheet at the end right there. And then a kind of a half a sheet with the edge cut off like I'm doing right now for that final corner there. So I will have exactly enough. I was wondering when I screwed these up much earlier if I was going to have enough, and I definitely will. I went to grab another sheet from here and thought, whoa, is that light? I don't know why it is, but 5 8 inch drywall seems way, way heavier than half inch. I mean, it's only an eighth of an inch thicker, but it just seems so damn heavy. But anyways, this stuff is all for the walls, and I'll be done with all the 5 8 inch stuff as soon as I get this ceiling done. So I am only going to have enough time to get this one cut and installed. And then I'm going to do some cleaning up and have lunch before my business meeting at 3. It is 1230 right now. This is probably going to take a good hour to get this cut and put up. It's really putsy work, but at least this only gets one cut on it the entire length. So let's get going on it.
All right, that's gonna wrap it up. Looks pretty nice. It was kind of hard to get this drywall to suck up, to push this stuff up, but it finally did it. Um, I'm just gonna have to go around. You could see some of them screws as the entire panel slowly pushes up. Some of the screws are like a little bit past the drywall. I'm gonna go around and just give them a little tighten by hand and that should be just fine. That side is four inches higher so the insulation basically just fit over there and it's really tight on this side. So it's a pain in the ass but I'll get it done. So just these two little sheets tomorrow and that's it for the ceiling drywall. Yay! Well except for the turning the screws but it's not that big of a deal. You can see, well maybe you can't see now, I was just watching it a little while ago, it's incredibly windy out there. It's 19 mile an hour steady winds with gusts into the 20s. Just freezing out there. It's 40 degrees, but if you're in the wind, really, really cold. All right, I'm gonna keep going on this drywall. I have six sheets here, I believe. What do we have there? One, two, three, four, five, six. That is damn near enough to get this done. This, that's gonna take four back there. And then I'll do the bottom parts on this. The centers on these, the mulls, that's gonna get a wooden piece. It's not gonna get drywall on it. It's too narrow for drywall. And it has a little bit of a, a gap at the top on some of them. So that's gonna get half inch wood and I'll shim it at the top and then screw it in at the bottom and then put shims in the middle where it needs it. And that'll take care of that. And that'll give me something to screw to when I frame out these windows. That's gonna come out from, oh, there's gonna be a quarter inch reveal and it's gonna come out. So it'll be yay wide. And then with that solid wood there, that'll just get capped off. That's gonna look really nice. Okay, so if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.